Alright, what's up guys? And welcome to another episode of How to Dominate. This will be How to Dominate episode 33, and today we are going to be playing Aftershock, Atrox, in the Jungle. Now, this is a new pick that people have started playing um, that people didn't really play for a while. I mean, some people tried Electrocute and Dark Harvest Atrox Jungle, but now um, Aftershock, Atrox Jungle is catching on, and a lot of people are playing it. So I'm going to show you pretty much how I play it, and um, I've, I haven't played it too much. I'm not super specialized on the champion, but I really just wanted to like showcase the setup. I've watched some of the videos, I've done some of the pathing, so hopefully I'll be able to like give you like a concise breakdown of to as to why like this champion is strong and like strengths and weaknesses um that you have here. Oh uh, for runes, obviously like I said, aftershock, you're gonna take aftershock, bone plating, conditioning, revitalize, which is really good with your um bonus healing. Um one second real quick. And uh yeah, you're also going to to uh, take conditioning. Let me put my uh, ghost pour here. You're gonna take conditioning. Yeah, um, ghost poro, ravenous hunter. So I got to strike it for a second. I just wanted to make sure that everything was up and running correctly. And yeah, this champion you always want to start with talisman. You path a little bit differently. I don't really like um, the golem clear as much on Aatrox as uh, I do with other champions. So yeah, right now. Uh, I'm gonna show you the pattern that I use instead. I think it's probably the best for Aatrox jungle. So one of the, the best things about Aatrox is he clears rates like almost instantly. It's really useful. So here I Q it. And here you're not gonna be able to get the whole camp um, in your first two Qs. It's mainly just gonna be, um, you wanna hit your uh, the big one with most, most of your stuff because as long as you are hitting like the small ones for the most part they'll die to your third Q and your third Q is really what does the damage on this champion so yeah I like doing raids and then I just go straight over to top crab ooh he actually just started here I'm gonna go uh, gank mid and then I'm just gonna go straight to um, bottom crab so he, he warded this, it's fine. Juke this. This doesn't matter, he's going to my blue, I'm gonna have to go to his blue. That's just how, how it is. He um is down one camp, so this is just how it works. We're gonna trade here. They kind of want to gank bottom right now. Let's see what's happening here. solid okay so we started off with our cues on recall we burned flash um with one we burned the um flash from the uh zaya with one then we hit the second one on um on recon there and then we we flash queued the zaya for the third one so that was actually really good for us whoops i should have hit that i was uh literally just pinging zaya's flash gotta be careful here i don't think i can counter jungle the whole camp um, because they're going to be coming back from base. Yep. And I'm just going to do golems and then back. And then I'll go to rates again. So yeah, that's really that's really good right there. Gives us a lot. Yeah, dear, he is an auto reset. It's kind of janky. It doesn't feel the best using it, but um, it is an auto reset, so using it as such is good. Here, I'm just going to use the uh, normal Q. Pull this one back. Q again. And here, my rates are going to respawn, um, so I'm just going to go and take them again before I back. Shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, so as long as your third Q hits, um, the Talisman will kill off most of the camps. Most of the small camp. It's gonna warden back. So, this guy is this. Okay, we're good. Yep. 
I'm going to go to top side. Most of my camps are going to be respawning now. I also want to see if I can contest the crab myself. Actually, there's a high chance I have to give this crab because my uh, mid got pushed out by the rumble. So And top has priority. So there's a chance where I just have to give it completely. But I'm going to go there, see what's up. If he's not already on it, if he hasn't already taken it, I might just start it up. I'll do the crab extremely quick. One of the uh, strong points of Aatrox. And because I don't want to run into um, any trouble, I'm going to pop that early. Yep. Yeah, we just pretty much two-shot this. And we're going to go over here. Gromp has probably respawned. Okay. Stand back here. The Qs are kind of weird on the camps. Um, you kind of have to get used to hitting the sweet spots, but once you get used to it, it does actually a lot of damage. The clearing is actually really good on this champion. So I think he warded in my jungle here. So I'm going to pink because I don't want him to have a ward in my jungle. Okay, he instantly uh, just ulted. Gonna wait for my red, I think. Could potentially go bot, rumble ard. Just hovering in the area, just waiting for my red. Not gonna use both my, um, both my, uh, what's it called? Dashes right here. Looking to see if I can go bot. Just ulted, got here early. Nice. So I no longer have ult, and I don't have aftershock, so it's pretty scary for me to do anything here. Gonna just go back and farm my jungle. Just use that to slide in behind the turret and pick up the kill. So pretty much we've put most of our pressure around bot. When you have an Alistar, it's really nice to uh, use their pressure. Says, <laughs> God damn it. That's interesting, man. I don't think uh, Urgot should be losing lane 1v1 to Darius, but I guess it happens. I am going to go up there at some point. Probably going to have to give the top crap here. They know I'm bot. They know I was no uh, flash. so Or no ult, rather. Flash here. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I had to back up a little bit. I flashed his Q. I think that needed to be done. Yeah, and I should back at my warrior soon. So it's gonna be warrior into cleaver. Pretty standard build. I'm gonna leave here actually. Not gonna go for this turret. Kinda wanna keep the laning phase going for a little bit longer. Drop by Ghost Bar in the bush as we leave. Yep, and going to be going straight into Cleaver. I'm gonna buy the CDR component. CDR is one of the best stats on Aatrox right now. Just in general, it's great because you're just a cooldown based champion. You don't really auto too much. You just want to get your one auto in for your mutilator proc, and then the rest is just uh, is just spells. Okay, so that's gonna be dead off that. Whoops. Oh, that's not up. I'm coming top actually.
Yeah, so if you saw, I just, um, you W him. You W him, and then after you W, you want to make sure that you uh, try to CC them into your W so you get the pull. So you hit uh, one Q, he flashes, right? Then I W, and then hit the second Q to keep him in my W. Actually, like, pretty useful to, like, understand this Aatrox mechanic or just be able to use it. Like I said, I haven't played too much Aatrox, but I think that um, I have pretty decent understanding of, of how to play him so far. And I've seen a lot of Aatrox, obviously, so kind of just use what I see um, to my advantage here. He's going to get top turret here soon. GG bot difference. Wait, come on, dude. I ganked that. Started off with uh, my spells. Got him. Yeah, dude. I think Aatrox is a pretty busted champion, but yeah, I'm really liking this Aftershock Aatrox. Been playing it a little bit. And I just caught on to this. Like, I wasn't planning on doing an Aatrox uh, video, but I caught on to this, like, recently, and I saw that they were playing in Korea, and it's like, okay, I want to give you guys, like, what are the new, like, most OP things in the jungle, right? Like, what are the premier picks right now? And I'm just going to try to bring those to you. I should do this camp. Because this will give me Cleaver. Just, just so you guys can, like, get that extra elo. Get the early fucking uh, gains. Because man, like normally, like I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna Aatrox, they're gonna nerf Aatrox at some point, but they might not nerf Aftershock Aatrox. Um, and if they don't, this is what you're gonna get. Put another Ghost Pour up for some more AD. Pick up the Cleaver. I'm huge at this point. I want to hit 11 before I ult again. Report Rumble. Jesus, they are not too happy about this. I'm not gonna ult for this. He's gonna die so quick anyway. I think they just rage quit. I think the game is literally over. I'm gonna try to 2v1 this just for fun because the game is Probably gonna be done soon. Whoops. Do I really have to? There we go. <laughs> I missed my third Q. It's actually really bad. Your third Q is most of your damage. It's the one that's most important to hit. So <laughs> it sucks that he actually uh, went for that. I'll probably upload this this video anyway because I think this demonstrates like how OP Aatrox is. Be a short how to dominate, but yeah, why not? Just squish everyone on the map, man. So when you use your spells, it brings your mutilator back, which is like one of the most important parts of your kit. Mutilator proc. Because uh, your mutilator proc reduces the healing of the champion. Like the ch champions can't heal. So you always want to put that into like any champion that has natural heal. I'm going to let him die. Ah, oh, damn. Report bot toxic. Yeah, I mean, it was a good level two gank that we were able to pull off. Like, I saw my ball lane was fighting, got off crab, and we were able to just get two kills there. Snowballed the game really hard. Oh, 
Oh my god. Squish like fucking bugs, boys. Yeah, I think we're gonna upload this anyway, even though it's a stomp, because I think that, um. Yeah, yeah it just shows Aatrox's strength as a jungler. The Aftershock is really just an insurance policy. Essentially, Aatrox just does enough damage without, um. Oh, don't ruin my score before the game ends. Get that plus 50. Yeah, I mean, the Aftershock is pretty much an insurance policy. It allows you to be super tanky in situations where you normally would not be as tanky as possible. I really think that it's it's useful to, to take this rune. Um, people, like I said, people in Korea doing this shit all the time. If you look in pro builds, you'll see. Um, I saw Blank playing it. I know Blank, Omega, Low, whatever, but... Yeah, Blank's playing it. Um, yeah, just saw a bunch of people that are that are playing it right now. Let's see. I'm gonna go to Pro Builds real quick. ProBuilds.net. I'll show you my damage in a second. Yeah, I think Umpty was playing it as well. A bunch of Korean pro junglers are playing it right now. Yeah, Tarzan is playing it, who's probably the best jungler in the world. So, if Tarzan's playing it, boys, you should play it, dude. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode. Let's just look at damage dealt. That was a fucking slaughter of a Aatrox game. Yeah, 8,000 damage. I think we did most damage in the game. Yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, man. Um, I might do another one on Aatrox. That'll be a little bit of a longer form game at some point. But for right now, I think that this will give you just the basics of, like, early pathing, how to take over a game, just dominate um, from the beginning of the game. and. No pun intended, but yeah, that was How to Dominate episode 33. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.